In this video, I want to talk about how we quote our final answer when we know the uncertainty in it. Okay, so let's take an example here that we've calculated a value for Planck's constant. If you remember earlier on this year, we did an experiment with LEDs to calculate a value for Planck's constant. So we've calculated a value for Planck's constant and it's 6.723 times 10 to the minus 34 uh, joule seconds, that should say, plus or minus 3%. So we, we've taken some data, we've plotted a graph, we've worked out Planck's constant, and um, we've gone through the process of calculating the percentage uncertainties in all of our data that we used, and we've added those percentage up to get the final percentage uncertainty in our Planck constant. So this is the final percentage uncertainty. I won't go through the process of working that out for you because I've shown you how to combine percentage uncertainties in another video. But here we're at the point where we've got our final value for Planck constant that we've calculated from various uh, pieces of data and um, we've got the combined percentage uncertainty. So how do we quote our final answer? Well, this is how you do it. The first thing you need to do is work out um, the absolute or estimated uncertainty. Okay, often we use those terms interchangeably, absolute or, or estimated uncertainty. So we need to work out the absolute uncertainty in Planck's constant. So to do that, you're just going to do 6.723 times 10 to the minus 34 plus, sorry, multiplied by 0.03. Okay, and if you do that, you'll obviously get the... Um, Oops. you'll get the value of absolute uncertainty. Okay, so you can see there, you're going to get 2.02, .02, if we round it up, times 10 to the minus 35 joule seconds. So that is our absolute uncertainty. Okay, so there's a couple of things we've got to do here before using that. So the first thing is, we need to quote that to one significant figure. We always quote uncertainties to one significant figure if they're the final value. When you're combining them together, when you're combining percentage uncertainties together, for example, you could use more than one significant figure. But for your final percentage uncertainty, one sig fig. For your final absolute uncertainty, one sig fig, one significant figure. Okay, so we're going to quote that as 2 times 10 to the minus 35 joule seconds. Now the next thing you want to do, in my opinion, that makes this a lot easier is this is times 10 to the minus 35 and that's times 10 to the minus 34. So our Planck constant value and our uncertainty are to two different multipliers, standard form multipliers. You want to make them to the same standard form multiplier really because it makes it a lot easier. So you can write this instead as, instead of like that, you can write it as 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. That and that are exactly the same. The next thing then, having done that, is we can then get to the point where we quote our final answer. So what we're gonna do is H, Planck constant, is 6.723 plus or minus 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 34. Now because these are both to the same standard form multiplier. You can put them like that. You don't have to put the standard multiplier after each of them. You can just put them in brackets and then this accounts for both of these. Or you could just write it like this. It really doesn't matter. It's better like that, but you could write it as 6.723 times 10 to the minus 34 plus or minus 0.2 times 10 to the minus 34. Now we obviously need to put a unit on this, but let's not worry about that for the second. This is wrong. And this is wrong, okay? I've done this on purpose, obviously, but we c this is not the correct way to quote it. The reason for that is this. This is our uncertainty. We're saying that we only know our Planck constant to plus or minus 0 0.2. So we can't quote it to three decimal places. We can only quote it to one decimal place. So what you would do is you would quote your Planck's con as constant as 6.7 plus or minus 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 34. Okay, and that is the correct way to do it.
and obviously do not forget your unit. Now because we put this in square brackets, the standard form multiplier and the unit applies to both the value for Planck constant and the uncertainty. That is the correct way to quote it. You quote your uncertainty to one significant figure and then you quote your answer to the same number of decimal places as that. Now sometimes people don't quote this to one sig fig, they quote it to two significant figures. And if you do that, you will get away with that in the WJC exam. You're supposed to quote it, you're supposed to quote it to one sig fig, but if you quote it to two, you would get away with that. Now let's just look at how that might look then. So then you would have 6.723 times 10 to the minus 34. That's the correct answer there, isn't it? Um, plus or minus 0 0.2. And if you look back up here, it will be 0 0.20 times 10 to the minus 34. Okay. Now, as I said, you're, spo you're supposed to quote your uncertainty to one sig fig, but if you quote it to two, you'll get away with that in the exam for WJC. If you quote it to more than two significant figures, you will not get away with it. Now, if you are quoting this to two significant figures, we're then going to quote this slightly differently. Okay. This will now be, this is wrong. It's going to be 6.72 plus or minus 0 0.20 um, times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, okay? And the, uh, because we've quoted this to two significant figures, we then quote this. We've quoted this to two significant figures, which is two decimal places. You then quote this to two decimal places in line with that. Okay, so that would be the correct answer if you chose to count, uh, to quote your uncertainty to two significant figures. This is the best way to do it. This is fine. Any of these here are wrong because they're too many significant figures or too many decimal places. Okay, so just to recap, you quote your uncertainty to one significant figure and you make sure it's to the same standard form multiplier as your value. Once you've quoted that to one significant figure, you quote this to the same number of decimal places as this. That's the correct way of doing it. If you choose, though, to quote your uncertainty or you forget that you have to quote it to one significant figure and you end up quoting it to two significant figures, that's okay. You quote this to two significant figures. You make it to the same standard form multiplier as your value. And then, because this is to two decimal places, you quote this to two decimal places. Okay, so either of these would get you full marks in the exam, this is the better way.